Hi, everyone. My name is Tabitha Walter, and I am the executive director of Eagle Forum in the Washington, D.C. office. I work on federal issues, so I am always excited to connect with the states. You all are doing the real work, especially when the swamp isn't doing their jobs. Now, we really need your help on a problem that keeps popping up, even with our Republican members. There is a massive defense spending bill that will be coming up for a vote after the elections called the National Defense Authorization Act. This is considered a, quote, must pass bill because it tells the military how to allocate their money. Because it is deemed must pass, the left has placed a ton of social policies inside and then saying, if the bill doesn't pass, then our military is going to suffer. One of the provisions that has made its way into the Senate bill with Republican help is a policy requiring women to register for the selective service, meaning if a draft was implemented, young women ages 18 to 25 would have to go off to war. The reasons why not to do this are common sense to us. Women do not have the same muscular and bone structures as men. Reports and studies have shown that men always outperform women in strength and endurance. So the Senate thought they were doing us a favor by adding a carve out to this provision by saying that if women are drafted, they would not be eligible for combat roles. Now, this still leaves the problem of sending women off to war who may have children or who may want to have children in the near future, but now have to focus on filling positions they didn't choose to begin with. It is clear that no one is making the decision to draft women based on science or ability. It is another feminist agenda item that claims to elevate women, but only harms them in the end. Fortunately, the House Pass version does not have this provision, but bad news, they do have another problem. Their bill has a dangerous marijuana policy inside. This provision allows military recruities to test positive for marijuana use without penalty. They will still be able to move forward with their registration into the military. Under current Biden administration regulations, recruiters can issue waivers on a case-by-case -case basis when someone is using marijuana. The provision in the House bill, though, is more extreme than this Biden rule. If someone is using marijuana while going through the process of recruitment, it is a clear lack of judgment, character, and responsibility on their part, not to mention the incredible danger it would place our soldiers in. Now, there's one more provision um, that is quite a poison pill in both versions of the bill. In the House, pro House version, it contains a provision to expand coverage of IVF to the dependents of military servicemen. This would cost taxpayers at least $1 billion each year. The Senate version not only includes this expansion of IVF coverage, but they are including a bigger term called artificial reproductive technology. Not only does this include IVF, but it would include terrible things like cloning, animal human hybrids, designer babies, and more. It would be the wild west of this type of industry. So I understand this is a lot of information thrown at you all at once, but let me boil it down for you a little more simply. The Senate version has women in the draft and the wild west of artificial reproductive technologies. The House version has a marijuana policy and, a, and an expansion of IVF coverage to dependents. Let me let you know what's happening next now. The Senate version has been voted out of committee, but hasn't made it to the floor yet for a full vote. If they decide to pass their version, the House and Senate will go into what's called a conference session comprised of House and Senate members chosen by leadership in their respective chambers. Together, they will work out the differences of the bill. Because this bill deals with defense, many of these members will be from the Armed Services Committees, 
This could include representatives like Mike Rogers, Dell Strong, Terry Sewell, and Senator Tommy Tuberville, all from your state. Now, because nothing has been passed out of the Senate yet, we don't know for sure who will be chosen to sit on those conference committees yet, but we can still take action. The Senate Armed Services Committee has been pressured before to take women in the draft out of their bill before it even got to the floor. That would be the best case scenario, along with getting the artificial reproductive technology out of their bill as well. But if they don't, we want all senators to vote against the entire bill, and we need to do the same for the House on the marijuana and IVF coverage issues. If they do go to the conference committee to work out differences, then uh, we will have a more targeted effort towards those specific conferees. So that will come later in the game when we know who they are. Now, we have made it easy for you to do so over at eagleforum.org, where you can use our platform to send a message to your congressmen and senators. We already have it pre-written for you, but if you'd like to add a personal touch, you can do that as well. That's over at eagleforum.org. And one last thing, since I mentioned the top of marijuana, I can't skip over the amazing efforts that Eagle Forum of Alabama has done. I mean, is there anything that they can't do? Um, they have really been leading the charge on educating the public, the legislators, and the policy um, makers about the dangers of marijuana normalization and the commercial commercialization. I know that uh, marijuana became legal in Alabama not too long ago, but Eagle Forum of Alabama has been um, instrumental in, in talking about the inherent flaws that this law actually has. Um, what I know is that after a presentation by Eagle Forum, health, ad po health policy advisor Christine Carr to the Alabama Board of Medical Advisors they proposed strong new rules that provided protections to babies in the womb, as well as adult patients. These standards are the first of their kind and were codified effective June 14th of this year. That is so amazing. Now, beyond Eagle Forum, I've seen the amazing things Alabamians can do when they come together. So I'm hoping we can nip this thing in the bud you know, the marijuana in your state, the marijuana in the defense bill, and then all the other issues like women in the draft and, um, and the artificial reproductive technology problems. We can nip it in the bud with much prayer and action. So feel free to reach out to me for anything. Uh, if it's questions about what I've talked about today or even issues that we can work further together on, you can email me at my email address at tabitha at eagleform.org if you have any questions. Thank you so, so much for giving me the opportunity to speak at your meeting. And I want to encourage you to keep up the fight. We're in this together. Thanks.